In this episode, I'm going to talk about the equivalence between mixed strategies and behavioral strategies. Well, let's first define what we mean by uh, two strategies are equivalent. Well, uh, here's the formal definition of equivalence. Uh, take any mixed strategy of player I and behavioral strategy of player I. Obviously, we have to take mixed and uh, behavioral strategies of the same player. All right, well, the, we call these two strategies outcome equivalent if whatever, the whatever pure strategy the opponents play, the outcome uh, distribution uh, of these two strategies must be the same. Okay, that's what that definition intuitively says. Well, what does that mean? That means, well, remember this Q uh, superscript something Z is, well, it is basically the probability distribution, uh, forget about Z, this is the probability distribution over the terminal histories, all right? Well, uh, the probability distribution over the terminal histories obviously depends on the players, not only player I, but all the players' strategies. So let's say player I, uh, on the one hand, plays his mixed strategy, on the other plays his uh, behavioral strategy. Well, what about the other players? Well, let's fix the other player's strategy as S sub minus I. It's some, some pure strategy profile, okay? So under those two profiles of strategies, calculate the likelihood of terminal history Z occurring. Well, it has to be the same. And this equivalence must be true for any terminal history and this equivalence must be true for any pure strategy profile of the opponents of player I. So this is pretty strong uh, requirement, all right? Because this equivalence, again, uh, must hold not only for all terminal histories, but also it must hold for all pure strategy profile of the opponents. All right, so if this is the case, well, then we say these two uh, strategies, uh, mixed and behavioral strategy, are equivalent. Obviously, pure strategy will never be equivalent to, I mean, not all uh, mixed strategies are equivalent to a, a pure strategy. And sim similarly, not all behavioral strategy are equivalent to pure strategy. They're completely uh, in, in different spaces, okay? Uh, but we can definitely compare uh, mix and the behavioral strategies. Here, you may wonder, um, what type of strategy is this? It is mixed, is it, it is, is it, is, is it uh, I mean, mixed and, 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 and pure strategy here, uh, behavioral and, and pure strategy. I mean, it, it's some sort of a hybrid strategy profile. Can we do that? Well, yes. Don't forget those probabilities the, the, that, that beta i and sigma i induce, they're independent of the other player's strategies. So therefore we can calculate those likelihoods, all right? All right, well, thanks to Kuhn, uh, he proved this theorem in 1953, along with the formal definition of extensive form game. Uh, most of the uh, definitions that I use in extensive form games here, actually thanks to Kuhn, and in fact, uh, the, the formalization is, again, uh, thanks to uh, Ariel Rubinstein and, 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 and it's Osborne Rubinstein textbook. So it's a brilliant textbook. Um, so here's the Kuhn's theorem. In every finite extensive form game with perfect recall, well, what is this? I'll, I'll talk about it. There exists an outcome equivalent behavioral strategy for every mixed strategy and an outcome equivalent mixed strategy for every behavioral strategy. All right, very good. So whether you use behavioral strategy or pure strategy, doesn't matter. Uh, if you find a Nash equilibrium or SPNE, subgame perfect equilibrium on their mixed, well, that means there's always a corresponding outcome equivalent version uh, in mixed or vice versa, okay? Well, uh, we usually use the mixed strategies to prove some sort of an exist existence theorem or existence result. All right? It makes our life easier. However, when we solve the equilibrium of a game, well, then behavioral strategies are actually handier, all right? or more handy. Uh, I don't know the correct uh, usage. Uh, anyway, well, what do we mean by game with perfect recall? Well, intuition. The, the, the definition is very complicated, but the intuition is very simple. Uh, players are not going to forget their own actions. As simple as this, all right? 
So, what does that mean? I mean, what type of game tree can I draw which basically tells me that players are forgetting their past? Well, here are some very simple games. In fact, these are like single person decision problem because there's no second player. But who cares? This is, you know, nevertheless a game. So player one moves, chooses either A and B, and then uh, he chooses small a and small b, but these two decision nodes are in the same info set, which means player one actually forgets what he played, which we oftentimes do, right? I mean, uh, well, we, we forget whether we did something or not. And so this is kind of a forgetful guy. So uh, for that reason, uh, this, is, uh, this is a game uh, with uh, imperfect recall. He cannot recall his actions, previous actions. Well, same here, player one moves first, uh, he chooses something, the game is over, he chooses something, the game continues, but the, 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 the thing is the, the guy forgets whether he is actually uh, making this choice. And, and, so let's say this is A, B, sort of uh, you're on the highway, you either exit or continue, you either exit or continue, and for some reason, let's say, um, the highway is very dark and there, there, there's no uh, exit uh, uh, numbers, and so, uh, you started counting and you know that you're going to exit in, exi uh, for example, in the 20th exit. But the thing is, uh, well, the, 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 I don't know, the distance between the exits are too long. And so you forget, uh, were you supposed to exit in the previous one or are you supposed to exit now? All right, so this is that kind of game. Um, again, the, game, the, the, the player one is forgetful. He's forgetting his previous action that he took C. Um, well, what about here? In, in this game, player one moves first, and then player two moves, and then player one moves again. So I put all those decision nodes into same info set. He cannot observe player two's move, but also he can't remember his actions. So this is also a game with imperfect recall. Uh, if this is the case, which is, by the way, our standard example, here it just says player one cannot observe player two's choice, but he can perfectly remember, recall his own actions. All right, so be careful about when you draw the game tree or the information sets. Well, the next and the final question I would like to ask is the following. Well, why mixed and pure strategies are not equivalent in games with imperfect recall? Well, simple, so suppose that player one's strategy uh, is the following. So he's going to play one half uh, AA and then he's going to play one half uh, BB. All right, meaning he's going to play AA uh, with half probability and BB half probability. This is how we would define a pure strategy, right? Because he has two decision nodes. All right, and so uh, over these two uh, pure strategies, he randomizes equally. Well, the question is, do we have any mixed strategy that is outcome equivalent to this one? Well, so let's call this P, 1 minus P, and then Q, 1 minus Q. Well, because these are in the same info set, this should also be played by Q, 1 minus Q, right? The behavioral strategy is going to look something like the P and the Q value. Well, the question is, can I find, for example, P and Q values such that P times Q the likelihood of this uh, uh, terminal history is, remember, one half, uh, but also uh, P times one minus Q is zero, right? Because according to this strategy, A, B will never occur. And then Q times, oh, I'm sorry, one minus P times, one minus P times Q, uh, also zero. And then finally, one minus, oops, one minus P times one minus Q must be uh, one half. Can I find such p, q values? Well, I can't. Why? Well, if this multiplication is zero, one of those guys, either p or one minus q must be zero. If they both positive, remember, uh, multiplication of two positive number can never be zero and they cannot be less than zero or more than one. So therefore, one of them is zero. But if p is zero, then p times q must be zero. Contradiction, I, I told you it has to be one half. But if one minus Q is zero, which means Q is one. But in this case, one minus Q is zero. So this multiplication must be zero. Another contradiction. So you know what? There's no P and Q values 
uh, or there is no mixed strategy for player one that is going to be outcome equivalent. Uh, I'm sorry, there exists no a behavioral strategy for player one that is going to be outcome equivalent to this pure strategy. All right, so the Kuhn's theorem will not hold if the game has imperfect recall. Well, the good thing or the nice thing is that in game theory, we almost always talk about games with perfect recall. Uh, one reason is this, uh, and the second reason. Uh, this imperfect recallness or forgetfulness actually brings lots of other complications like the consistency of strategies, etc, etc. And so the game, it becomes, uh, you know, hard to handle. And to be honest, we don't really have a sound and reasonable theory how to deal with those games. Uh, Ariel Rubinstein and Michael Piccioni, if I am not wrong, have very beautiful paper about this, uh, a game with forgetful players, as far as I remember the title. Uh, they actually talk about the example I gave you. There's a highway and there are exits. The player is going to the, you know, uh, exit or continue, but he forgets whether he was supposed to exit previously or should exit now. And so they talk about, for example, uh, that the strategies, should we use mix? Should we use behavioral pure? But, you know, whatever we use, we may end up some sort of uh, inconsistencies. It's like, I, I decide to choose some strategy uh, and suppose this is an optimal strategy, but you know, uh, as we move on the game, uh, that optimal strategy that was optimal initially become a uh, suboptimal uh, later, kind of. All right, so um, again, as I said, it's like uh, almost all the games, not almost, like 100% all the games we talk about in this course are going to be games with perfect recall, okay?